Hi everybody. I'm playing around with some watercolor again today because I have um, a watercolor swap coming up next week. I'm not sure if this is the card I'm going to use for it, but I thought I'd play around with some watercolor this week and then pick my favorite out of the stuff I make. So this is a really simple watercolor wash and a lot of people when they heard about a watercolor uh, swap they didn't join in because they thought well I'm not a watercolor person but um, if you're a stamper you are a watercolor because it is so simple to add just a touch of watercolor to a background or to a stamp to make a really pretty um, image. So we're gonna make this card really quick I want to show you how fast it comes together and how easy it is. I'm using the By the Bay stamp set, and this stamp set is one of the celebration stamp sets free with a $50 order. And there's lots of things that you might want to grab for your order, like aqua painters. If you don't have aqua painters, I suggest grabbing these. These are really fun little paint brushes with water already in them, super easy to take and with you uh, anywhere you go. And um, I love them. I use them like crazy. So um, aqua painters, they come two in a pack, and I highly recommend that. And we get some ink ink, some watercolor paper, some cardstock, really fun braided ribbon, and um, you are all set. So the main image here is this cute little cottage on the shore, and uh, we're not going to use that. <laughs> it's, it's really awesome, and it would be great watercolored as well with a little wash on top, and I'll probably do that on another card, And um, but we're going to use these here. Okay, so this is really simple. I'm using a piece of three and a half by five watercolor paper and I have two, one for the inside and one for the outside. And then I've cut this really cute frame and the frame is made with the stitched rectangle framelits. These are awesome. If you don't have these, this is a great thing to grab. That would get you close to the um, $50 required to get the free by the bay stamp set. So think about the rectangle stitched framelits. They're awesome and they have so many sizes. I am using the third and fifth largest or from the top, like one, two, three, four, and then five. And the stitching is really fun because it goes on both sides of the cut. So there's stitching, cut, and stitching. And then what that, <coughs> excuse me, I have a little tickle in my throat. What that gives you is the stitching on the outside, but then where I cut it, there was stitching. So then here I've got stitching on the outside and the inside. So this is the inside stitching from a cut and this is the outside stitching from a cut and that way you get to have stitching on both sides of a frame which is really fun. It used to be that stitching was always just on the inside. And then now I've got this little leftover piece that has stitching on it and you know that's the challenge. You're going to, have to come up with something for this little piece because that'll be fun on a card. So save that. Now for my wash I just used three colors. I'm using um, balmy blue, crumb cake, and night of navy. So I'm going to start with my crumb cake. And how I get ink in my pad is I squeeze it, and ink, you know, gets in the lid. Um, but the newer stamp pads like this balmy blue don't squeeze so well. I did manage to get a little bit in there. They don't really recommend squeezing. <laughs> But I do it anyway because I love watercolor and I squeeze all the time. But what you could do is add a little drop of reinker into your lid. And if you don't have reinker and you really want to get to watercoloring, grab a stamp block and stick it onto your stamp pad. And then this becomes your little um, watercolor for, for watercoloring. So that's my little tip. <laughs> so all you're going to do with this particular card is a wash. And I'm going to get some water on my barrel. Now this is water-based ink, so it's okay to add water to your lid. And I'm just going to do a light wash back and forth. And I'm going fast, and I don't care that I'm leaving some of the paper exposed. I like that look. So go ahead and feel like you can just go across, and if you missed a spot, let it be. Now as it dries, and this dries fast, it's a, it's a dye, it's not a watercolor paint and it does dry faster than watercolor paint. So you can go back in and add some dark areas by going over them again. So I'm just going to, now to get an even um, bigger value change in dark to light, you can let the watercolor dry for a minute or you know tap it with your heat gun and then add some more dark, but it dries pretty quick. You can add a little bit really fast. I'm going to go up here again, add some more. So I've got some dark up there. 
got some dark there. And that's it. So you're done with your crumb cake. Now I'm going to use um, my little stamp and scrub and clean my brush. A stamp and scrub is meant to clean stamps, but I keep it on my desk to clean my brush. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to flip it because I like to work um, from the bottom up for some reason. And I'm going to do the balmy blue. And I'm going to do it just the same. Again, I could use the little paint off of the block. I don't care if I'm missing spots, that'll just look like a cloud. And I'm getting pretty close. You can, if it's dry, you can get all the way to the crumb cake, but I like leaving some white spaces. So we've got our little sky. And if you like it, then stop. And then I added just a little bit of Night of Navy to my, just so that it wasn't just uh, sand and sky. I wanted a little bit darkness for some water, uh, just an extra color. So I'm using Night of Navy. As you can see, I use this one a lot. And again, I'm just squeezing my brush to get some water into the barrel and then um, cleaning the colors on the stamp and scrub. Then you don't even have to have a jar of water next to you, a little cup of water. I tend to accidentally um, drink that if I have too much next to me. And you're just going to add. And I like the little uh, mixture going on with my balmy blue. Some more color at the bottom for some darker. And leave it. Just call it done. It's just a little wash. And then set that aside to dry. Now on your inside piece, you're going to stamp the shells. And for that, you need black ink. And for watercoloring, you need to use stays on. I'm going to use the shells, I'm going to use the birds, and I think I'll do thinking of you. Okay, so for the inside, I'm going to use the shell image just on the bottom corner. I always like to do a little something on the inside, so that's my little inside. Now on a piece of scratch watercolor paper, a little leftover bit, just kind of a big bit, I'm going to do a little set of these birds, also in a stays on. And um, I think I just used blue. I'm going to clean my brush again and pick up some more of this balmy blue and just add a little bit of balmy blue to the background here. Like the birds are standing half in water, half on the shore. Give them a little bit of blue. Same thing with my shell. I'm going to add a little bit of the balmy blue behind the shell. I'm going to clean my brush and grab the crumb cake. And I'm just going to get a little wash on the sand here. Adding a little bit of crumb cake to the shell. is it. Add some darker colors to this one just for some change. 
And I'm just kind of touching, just dabbing. Give a little pebbly look. And that's it. Clean my brush. Now for the little seabirds, I did add a little smoky slate um, to their wings. And the undersides. Kind of give them a little color. A mostly clean brush I just add a little more color so it's barely there there okay that is all the water coloring I'm doing so to clean my block I just rub it on my stamp and scrub here now to cut this out I'm using the um, stitched shapes dies and they come with oval square and circle stitch shapes and they're real fun and so they look great with the stitched rectangles. I'm going to cut this out okay let's bring back our watercolored piece and I lost my base of crumb cake where did that go There it is. Okay, so I have a base of crumb cake, and I'm going to just attach this straight down to it. Now, um, watercolor paper, when you watercolor it, it gets a little wavy and bumpy sometimes. So I'm going to be sure to get adhesive on, um, sometimes I just put on the edge, but I'm going to put some in the middle as well. and then I'm going to put my frame. It's going to frame my little art piece here. Now if your paint went off the side, that's okay. It'll look kind of fun. It'll be a frame, floating frame on top of an abstract painting. To adhere that, I'm using these foam adhesive strips. As you can see, I've almost used all of them. <laughs> there we go. Let's frame our little painting here. And then this little collection of birds is just going to go down right there. Now you can put this on the top, at the bottom, wherever you think. Like if you think your painting down here looks really awesome, then put it up here. You know, put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it right down there because I kind of like this color going on. All right, and then the inside just gets the little shells. And then just for an added embellishment, I use the braided linen trim to make a little bow. Now the first time I made the bow, I kind of didn't like it. I thought it was a little too stiff looking. And I wished it was not so stiff. <laughs> so I was playing around with it and I thought, let's pull it apart. And I really like the look of that. It kind of has a netting look to it, which kind of goes along with the shore, I think. And so I just pulled it apart and made it just really kind of rough and a little bit beat up. Distressed, I guess you would say. And if you don't like the look of your distressing, you can just pull it tight again and it kind of goes away. It goes back to normal. <laughs> so then I distressed the ends. And then I attached it with a glue dot. That is it. I hope you like my little watercolor card. And I hope that you will join me on my Facebook page and blog at bethspapercuts.com. 
I have a Facebook group that you can join too and you can share your watercolor cards there. I love to see what other people are doing with stamps and watercolor. I think that anybody can be a watercolorist with stamps and I think it's really fun and it's relaxing. Try to just make washes in just different colors and it'll be really enjoyable. I'm going to leave this one blank because you know what? You can put anything on here. This could be a thinking of you. This could be a birthday card. This could be just about anything. So there you go. That is the By the Bay watercolor card. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.